Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another quick video. All right, so first off, let's just get started to this amazing ring pour from my last video. Okay, can I tell you how much I love this thing? I love how it dried. I'm loving the shimmer in it. Once it gets a top coat of crystal resin, it is going to be spectacular. Like, I mean, look at that. I'm so happy with how this turned out and I really had so much fun doing it that today I'm gonna do another ring pour. I think I'm gonna get into a ring pour kick. Like, I really love this thing, I do. So, um, that is available for purchase if anyone is interested in that 14 by 14 inch. My table's still a mess. Um, because I'm doing another ring pour. So why bother clean up the table when I'm just going to make another mess? And I kind of want to keep the skins. I know I'm like, I probably should have peeled some of these off probably, but the table's still pretty wet. Uh, yeah, see, it's not like fully dry. See, <laughs> I don't know why I do that, but anywho, um, yeah, so I've got another, 14, baby wipes are the best thing you can have in your studio, in your workspace. I always, always have baby wipes. Okay, anyways, uh, another 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I'm gonna do another ring pour. And you're probably wondering what that is. It's a small 10 by 10 inch that I just did really quickly, like 10 minutes ago. Uh, and I need it to dry in the next couple of days because I need to pack it in my suitcase um to take it with me to uh Asheville because I, I just got a few more um seats sold in my resin class and I only sh shipped a certain amount of canvases over there and I just got some last minute bookings so I had to make another one and I'll just throw it in my suitcase I have one spot left one spot left in my top coat resin class um so and I have spots left in my other classes there still is time, like, I mean, Asheville, North Carolina, May 23rd to the 25th, I still have spots left in my other classes, but my resin class has one, one spot left, okay? Top coat resin class, and you get to take home one of my pieces of art with you. Um, but yeah, so super excited. Um, let's just get started. Uh, colors today I've got going on. Uh, we have... Uh, what is this? Thalo Blue. Thalo Blue by Amsterdam. And then I've got Pearl Violet by Amsterdam. So it looks white, but it's violet. So I'm putting it on top of a dark color. Then we have a permanent, what is this? I always forget. Permanent Blue Violet. I knew that. Permanent Blue Violet. Okay. And then I have Pearl Blue by Amsterdam, and that one was by Amsterdam too. So again, this is going over a dark color. I still had some of my Pebeo left um, from my last video. So the Pebeo uh, Iridescent Green Blue. Now, here's the thing, I'll tell you in a second. And then this last color is Ultramarine Violet Light by Amsterdam. So in my last video, I mixed my paints with water. I did paint and water, kind of like 50-50, one-to-one part. Um, so this time around, I texted Lee from Mass Hair Studio. I'm like, hey, dude, um, you know, what's your concoction? What do you do for ring pours? Like, how thick is your paint? Um, and he actually told me he uses paint and Floetrol. Um, so uh, I was like, oh, that's funny because I did paint and water. Um, so this time I'm gonna try paint and Floetrol. And he did say he likes to keep it on a thicker consistency because it helps keep the rings more intact. So this is much thicker than this. Um, and these are paint and Floetrol and this is paint and water. So I'll use a little bit of it, you know, but not a lot of it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't bring a cup. I always forget a cup to like do my, my rings in. Uh, anywho, so yeah, paint, and flow trawl and I so what I did was I did like 30 grams of paint and like 70 grams of flow trawl that's what I did that's what I did so you know yeah so I had to go get a cup 
So that's what I did. I just did 30 grams of paint, 70 grams of Floetrol. It's pretty darn thick. Like, I mean, it leaves quite the mound. Like this is thick to me. So, you know, but like I said, that's what Lee said. They like it thick, you know, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, all right. I'm just going to get started. I'm going to, uh, not pour so much here because remember the first color you put down is going to be the last color that comes out when you're doing your ring pour, right? So let's just uh, add some there. So I'm super duper excited because Asheville is literally next week. What day is it today? I am recording this on Thursday. So yeah, a week today, I'll actually be in Asheville teaching my classes today. So like I said, there's still time to come to Asheville and learn how to paint with me or fellow other uh, YouTubers who will be there as well. Um, you know, you can go to, uh, oops, www.fluidartexperience.com. Uh, if you, yes, I said that right. I, for some reason I thought I did that wrong, but yeah, uh, fluidartexperience.com and, uh, you can purchase tickets. If you can't make it to Asheville, North Carolina, that is fine. Uh, I will be doing classes with Kathleen from Cause Creations, and we will be doing those in Fort Myers, Florida, July 13th and 14th. So if you want to come see Kathleen and I in Florida, um, you can email us at uh, fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com. So fluidartfriends Fluid art with friends, Florida at gmail.com. You know, it's very hard to talk and do this at the same time. No joke. Um, so anywho, yeah, that's happening in July. And then uh, I will be in Dallas, Texas again for another installment of the Fluid Art Experience. And that is happening uh, September 27th to the 29th. So if you want to come and see me in Dallas, Texas, you can do so September 27th to the 29th. And again, you can get that information at fluidartexperience.com. I probably shouldn't put that so close to my wet painting. All right, lots of paint here. This paint is so thick. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I was thinking about it last night and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do another ring pour, but I'm gonna put it on a spinner and spin it instead. And I totally forgot to do that. So uh, yeah, I completely forgot to do that. So maybe my next video, I'm gonna do another ring pour, probably, most likely, um, cause you guys seem to be loving them. I'm not gonna use this anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do another ring pour uh, but I want to put it on. Oh my God, this cup's going to overflow. Whoop. Oh yeah, that is full. Oh my God, it looks like ice cream. So yeah, I want to put it on a spinner and spin it. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> I can't even tilt it to show you guys. All right, well, cross your fingers. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, it is so thick. Oh my gosh. I am not used to seriously thick paints like this. Oh, look at that color. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't know if I just screwed this up or not. Oh my gosh. I think I like totally just covered all the pearl paint. Oh my gosh, whatever, I don't care gonna get stretched out anyway oh my gosh look at the blue and purple oh this is pretty oh my gosh wow okay I'm gonna come back and bring it to the middle this is thick you guys wow okay look at it can you even see that no you can't sorry i tried <laughs> okay uh yeah wowzers okay let that 
that sit for a sec. This is thick, super thick. Wow, I'm gonna torch it, make sure I pop all the bubbles. Uh, this should be interesting. I'm gonna have to re be really patient with my tilting. That's another problem I have. I just like to oh, just tilt and go super quick. But I know you're supposed to do it slowly and take your time. So pop the bubbles. All right, it's tilting time. Lee, Jeremy, where are you guys? You're supposed to say it's tilting time. Okay, let's see what happens. Nice and slow. I might speed you guys up through this process. I don't know, we'll see. Or I could just jibber jabber. Um, what can I jibber jabber about? I don't know, come and see me in Asheville. I've already been to Asheville. I went for Kathleen's wedding. So I won't be doing any of the touristy things because I already did that um, in October last year with Anthony when we went for Kathleen's wedding, which was amazing. We did a lot of the touristy things. We did not go to the Biltmore because we didn't have time, but we did do this amazing train ride through the mountains, which was so cool. Um, but yeah, no touristy things this time around. Um, I'll be getting to Asheville Tuesday night. Yeah. So anywho, come and see me in Asheville. Come and see me in Florida or come and see me in Dallas, Texas. Take your pick or don't come see me at all. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Bringing it back down to the center. Oh my gosh. I am loving this. I've got to get these corners covered though. All right, let's bring it down to the bottom corner. Oh, I love, love, love this. This is actually fun. What a mess though, seriously. Okay, bring it back down to the center and then one more corner to go. Okay. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> uh, that almost slipped right out of my hands. All right, I kind of got to go, oh, sugars. Let me work on the corner first. Okay, and then down here, and then we need to come off the edge and get some good coverage. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I can't wait for this to dry because Again, it's got the pearl, the pearl blue and the pearl violet. So what's going on on this side? Oh, I do have some uncovered bits of the side. So I guess I'm going this way a bit. Oh, but I kind of don't want to lose that purple at the bottom there, but it's going to happen it is what it is. Yeah, see, I needed to cover that. Oh, wow, this is so cool. What do I do? It feels, this sucker is heavy. Um, got just my corner here, but I'm gonna dab that with my finger. I think I'm just gonna bring it to the center and be done with it. Oh, <laughs> I am liking this a lot all right let me just dab these edges so that there's full coverage going on okay that's covered we got that and then get this covered you can't see is it covered nope uh maybe i can't see let me go around yeah this side's covered this side is not and now it is there full coverage all the way around as i try not to drip anywhere what i love it oh my gosh this is so cool why like i mean i love my blowouts i do i love doing blowouts but sometimes i just get into this you know habit of just doing the same thing over and over again 
I did some blooms a little while back. I got into a bloom kick, but now I feel like I'm on a ring pour kick, like totally a ring pour kick. Uh, yeah, so the thicker paints did really help. Um, let me, oh, I'm afraid. No, see? It's leaving little like, I don't know, I don't, yeah, it's le I'm not gonna do it. It's leaving specks. So, you know, when I did the, can you hear that noise in the background? They're jackhammering out there. Um, when I did the paint and water, I torched it and it was fine, no flex, no specks. But I just did a quick torch and it left like some little speckles. So I'm not doing that. Nope, I know, and there's some air bubbles, but it is what it is. Let them either pop on their own or I don't know, not pop at all. I don't even know, but I don't, I don't want to torch it because it's gonna leave all these little freckles. Uh, and I'm just loving this. Okay, that's it. I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. Alrighty, everybody. Uh, so again. Before I show you guys the super duper close up, well, first of all, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Did some pinks in there. Um, don't forget to take your stick, scrape the drips, okay? So do that, all four sides. Come back, do it again 10 minutes later or so. Look how pretty it is. Oh my goodness. I'm loving these colors. Okay, let me ask you guys. What colors in a ring pour do you want to see next? So tell me in the comments below. Do you want pinks, yellows, whatever? Um, what colors do you want to see in my next ring pour? Because I'm doing another one. This is so much fun. Um, and I'll be curious to see how this dries because, again, there is the uh, pearl blue and the pearl violet. So I'll be very curious. Although I feel like a lot of it got lost, but, you know, we'll see when it dries. Let's see it with the flash on. Alrighty, so the flash is on. Now there's obviously the Pebeo iridescent uh, blue-green, but there's the, you know, pearl violet and the pearl blue. Oh yes, look at that. That is the pearl violet, I'm telling you. So I can't wait to see this dry because this is gonna look so different when it's dry. It's, it's gonna look darker for sure. Uh, it's definitely going to look darker, but again, some crystal resin will definitely bring the colors back up and pop, but there's, I really think this is the pearl violet we're looking at. Not sure what happened to the pearl blue, but there's definitely shimmer in here. So in the next video, oh, might be, you might have to wait till I get back. Oh no, I should have one more before I leave for Asheville. I should have time for one more, but yeah, I'll show you guys the dried results in the next video. So there you have it, my friends. Um, yeah, like I was saying, um, I will likely do one more video before I leave for Asheville uh, next week. So I should be able to show you the dried results of this in the next video. And if for some reason I don't get a video, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to wait till I get back from Asheville to see the dried results of this beauty. Uh, in the meantime, if you uh, have any questions or, you know, comments, put them in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what color ring pour you want to see me do next. Okay, because uh, I love my blues and purples, but let me know what you guys want to see next. And again, if you want to come to Asheville, there's still time. Um, and this piece is available for purchase. My zebra piece my zebra blowout piece from two videos ago actually sold um to a great client of mine deirdre um she's gonna actually take it as is and she is going to embellish it and just turn it into like a geode so i can't wait to see what you do with it um i'd love to see pictures of it when you're done so that i can show everybody what you've done with it but yeah so super excited about that uh, yeah, and that's it. So um, until next time, my friends, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.